Okay, so I got this welded up, slapping a quick coat of primer on. But you can see it's just a box on, uh, becomes a box tube on both ends. Um, this is the other end. Once I get this primer on and let it dry, then I'll uh, hit it with a coat of paint. So what I'm doing is taking a piece of 2x4 blocking and I've shaved it down to fit inside here. Uh, and what that's going to do is just help once I get my holes and slots drilled through and put my eye bolt in, it'll keep that from wanting to uh, cave in when I tighten down. It should hold, but this will strengthen that surface area is what it'll do. And it'll end up looking like this on both ends. take and start that down in there a little bit like that use my wood block and tap it into place all right here's the piece that I made and here's how it's going to mount the pockets in the floor are flush on the floor and I want to maintain that as much as I can so what I did is I made that bar and it's going to bolt up to to the wheel chalk here basically this this red bar is going to mount to these uh, to these lock uh, or lock into these pad eyes with these J hooks these J hook bolts are going to come up through the through here I got to drill holes through this so that all I got to do is put that in put a nut on top and crank that down and that's going to hold it and I can Move it closer to the front if I can't if I want, or I can move it back. So here's uh, the plan: that nylon nylon lock nut will go on here like this. This is uh, this was an eye bolt that I bought, and I cut this piece off to make it a hook to go underneath that uh, part of the tie down cleat. So I've got this mounted up to the lockdown bar. This lockdown bar is the red bar that I manufactured. And it's gonna go in here with these hooks. And I located holes along that rail coincide with the holes I drilled in this wheel chalk so that the spacing is equal enough that, let me back up here a little bit. Let's say I wanna move the bike, instead of being centered here, I wanna move it over four and a half inches to give me clearance for something over here. I've got the advantage of being able to shift these these three bolts here, uh, pull those out and move this bar over four and a half inches or this chalk over four and a half inches on that bar. And that'll give me just that much more space over here or if I need, if, if I've got adequate space or too much space over here and I want to move it to the right, I can just do the same thing and move it over to these bolts holes and they all line up. I've, I've put it in different positions so that they all line up. And so now it's just a matter of locking it down in place. Pretty simple. Just take this hook like this, this J hook, put it in here, allow that to sit down over the top, allow that to come over like that. I've used these nylock nuts on here. So if I get underneath and push that up with my finger, start that nylock nut. Now I can crank that down. Put a wrench to this. Pull it down enough to have Threads coming through the top there. It's locked down. Okay, it's mounted. That thing is just rock solid. And this will take me, I don't know, two or three minutes to install the whole thing. Now, as you can see, uh, it's locked down. I put it the, the most forward uh, tie down spot. And I painted this red because coming out this door, 
if you hit your foot on that one time, you'll never forget doing it. So I painted it red. I also moved it forward. I think that's going to be more than enough clearance. The tire's not going to hit the wall. And that's how it's going to be mounted in there. So the next thing to do is to pull this thing out of storage and load my motorcycle on the back. So as you can see, uh, it fits in there quite nicely. Uh, the wheel chalk is uh, locked in. And uh, now it's just a matter of strapping it down. I put the hooks, you can see in one of my videos, I've, I've got these hooks up here in the front that I mounted to the bike. Right here, these tie down hooks right up here. Um, those will tie down to the cleat down here. And then on the back tire, I think I'm going to do, do a strap, double strap around the tire itself rather than pull the suspension down. So let's do that now. And there you have it. Um, straps are in, holding it down. Bike is good and solid. There's just a little bit of rock, but uh, I don't think it's enough to to be concerned about. I'll check it before we get on the big road. But uh, these are the straps I'm using. Powertie.com. Uh, rated a thousand pounds. This is an 800 pound bike. So two straps on the front uh, with the wheel chalk should hold it just fine. All right. There's how I did my rear tire. I've got uh, a strap going over and through the, from the cleat over through the wheel or back around the tire and back to that same cleat, pulling it to the right and another one pulling it to the left. That'll keep the bike from wanting to go back and forth. So now it's time to load up all the rest of the stuff and get on the road.